Hello everybody, and welcome to the TBR video. Um, I kind of joke about TBR videos because I never stick to them. I always say these are the books I'm going to read, and then um, I'll find another book, and all the books that were in my TBR get knocked down. And it's even funnier because I had a book that I was going to read that was going to be in this TBR, but then um, early this morning I started reading a different book that is, um, I was going to, basically I was going to read the Bobby the Brain Heenan biography, and I started reading the Junkyard Dog biography. And um, so the Bobby the Brain Heenan biography will no longer be on this TBR. Um, but <clears throat> the um, Junkyard Dog biography by Greg Klein called The King of New Orleans um, is now on this list. And um, I'm... It's an ebook. I'm 77% of the way through it. And um, as of now, it might as well have just been uh, Mid South, like the rise and fall of Mid South wrestling, um, more so than um, about the Junkyard Dog, which um, I will get to in my review for the book. Um, next, I have another Harry Wintington book called Fires That Destroy. Now, I tried to do something different this time. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get the books that are on my TBR, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them instead of me just kind of geeking out on the fact that I may eventually read this book. The problem here is, is that I absolutely hate spoilers. I really, really do. And most... Um, book synopsises, like if it was a book about the Titanic, it would say, this book is about this boat that crashed into an iceberg and everybody died. Like, that's how most synopsises are. And I'm, and I'm like, well, I don't, I mean, don't tell me that the boat crashes and everybody dies. That's, you know, that's at the end. I want to, you know, whatever. Um, so I tried to just do loose descriptions and there were a couple books in here that on the descriptions as I was finding the descriptions and reading them I would only read like a sentence here and a sentence here and a sentence here and then try to piece the description together so even if it seems like I've ruined the book um, I may be wrong so um, so the next book here fires that destroyed by Harry Wintington um, is basically about a woman who kills a man to be with another man. I'm going to assume that that first man was like her husband that she kills to be with another man. Um, but I don't know, because I didn't read all of it. So, um, there's that. Then another David Goodis book, Shoot the Piano Player. Um, this book... Is about a, a piano player with a great tenure, like very amazing um, resume, Carnegie Hall type, um, who now plays in a Philadelphia bar for drunks. And he meets a man who promises him a future and a man who promises his dark past. Um... So I believe this was a movie, like most of, um, it sounds very Bogarty, but I don't know if that's me just making stuff up or not. Um, pretty awesome, right? Um, and then a book that I started reading last summer, um, and then, uh, when we were packing things up to make more room for stuff. I packed it in a box or it's, it's somewhere where I don't know where it is at the minute, but, um, Kitten with a Whip by Wade Miller. Um, 
I think I even did a video where I was talking about that I started reading it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what it's about, and so nuts. Uh, but it's basically about a guy whose family goes away for the weekend, and um, when he comes, I think when he comes back from dropping them off at the airport, there's some, like, 17-year-old um, girl um, rummaging through his house, and... Um, more likely than not, he tries to be a nice guy by being a pervert and lets her stay. And, um, I don't know. Uh, other things will happen from that. So we'll see how that is. And then we have um, River Girl by Charles Williams. Um, this sounds a lot like um, the... Postman always rings twice, but it also sounds like um, The Devil Inside Me, I think is what it's called. That um, Thompson book. Is that what it's called? The Devil... Or The Killer Inside Me. The Killer Inside Me. Um, it's basically about a cop who falls in love with some chick who is kind of attached to some other dude. So... Um, but it's kind of like his classic, um, Charles Williams, that is. So we'll see how that is. Um, then I have a book by Bruno Fisher called House of Flesh. This was kind of the book that made him um, a name in the paperback original era. And this book is described... Um, kind of is like a horror noir or a um, gothic novel for males and I'm I'm guessing that when it says that it's a gothic novel for males it's referring to the um, 60s and 70s uh, gothic romance books um, I guess there's some big scary house and vicious dogs and crap like that and stormy nights and all sorts of other stuff. So I am kind of excited about that just because um, it seems like a bit of a different read from what I have been getting a lot of lately. Um, next... I'm reading this next book for a couple different reasons. So, but, um, The Screaming Mimi by Frederick Brown. Um, one reason why I'm reading this book is because, um, some of you may know, maybe you don't know, but, um, off and on since, like, 2014 or 2013, um, I've been doing a podcast called Jalo Chow Chow about, um, Italian thriller and horror films um, that are called Jally or Jalo. Um, and the Screaming Mimi is supposed to be um, what gave Dario Argento the idea for the film The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. And in reading the description for it, um, I could see exactly why. Um, but right now, um, we've been doing, uh, the Jali of 1970, um, because that was kind of like the first year of like the golden era of, um, Jalo film. And Bird with the Crystal Plumage came out that year, and, um, we had done that episode or that film way back when, when the show first started. But because we're going through 1970, we're going to hit that movie again. So I would like to kind of have a little bit more background um, with this book. So the um, basic synopsis for this is that a down-and-out reporter who um, kind of falls for the fourth victim of this killer... Um, It, but the way it sounds, it sounds like he falls for her after she's been killed. 
So, like, the idea of her or her corpse or whatever. So that's weird. But um, he decides that he wants to try to solve the case and then comes face to face with the killer, blah, 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 blah. So that sounds very, very fun. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. And then the last book I have here um, that I kind of want to get to right away is um, These Curious Pleasures by Sloane Britton, um, wh which is a uh, pseudonym for Elaine Williams. <clears throat> now, Sloan Britton is the name of the character in the book, so it's kind of like um, Elaine Williams' alter ego kind of thing, but it's also the author of the book. But um, she wrote a lot of um, the lesbian Pulp Fiction or whatnot, but her story is kind of sad. Like, the way she writes it is a little more, um, from what I've read about her, um, is a little more clever and um, a, a lot more care is put into it than um, what a lot of the other lesbian pulps were doing. But the thing that makes it sad is that she... Um, ended up committing suicide over the fact that her family wouldn't accept her as a lesbian. And that um, is just really heartbreaking, especially um, when she's known for writing all these books about people trying to live a normal life um, and all that other stuff. But this book uh, is about... Um, the filming of a TV pilot in New York and um, craziness ensues. But yeah, so that those are the books that I'm planning on reading and I almost guarantee that I'll probably only read half of them and then read 10 more books that I haven't even talked about. So um, that's why these videos are very strange for me. It's just a video of me breaking promises. So um, maybe this will keep me accountable a little bit. But we will see. So um, let me know if you've read any of these down below. Let me know what you think of these. Um, if there are authors that I'm talking about, but there are better books to try. Um, because if I hit an author, if I read a book by an author and the book isn't very good, I tend to not run back to that author. Um, in fact, I had two other authors on that list that I was going to read um, that I've read books of theirs lately and just kind of crossed them off because um, the books that I've read by them lately have not been very good. So um, let me know if there are better... Uh, roads to travel. So, um, until next time.